Alright, yeah, I'm Paris Christie here from ToonboxStudio.com and thanks for tuning in to this week's Cherry SketchUp video and our first ever Q&A session. Yeah, loving it. Come on, so excited. Right, last week I asked you all to write a question in the comment section of the previous video and I was going to pick the most commonly asked ones and the ones with the most thumbs up. Now, if I didn't pick your question, do not worry. Just rewrite the same question again in this week's video's comments section and tell your friends to give a nice thumbs up. And so, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So, our first question comes from... So exciting. Um, Heleni, Helen. Do you ever animate and will we ever see an animation from you? Yes, I do animate and yes, you will. I'm planning to do something special in the new year, sometime in the new year. I'm trying to do something never seen before on YouTube. Well, I'm not aware if it's done before and if it has, that doesn't matter. But I'm going to be testing it out on you guys and if you love it, it's time to show it to the whole world. Now, Marshall, Marshall asks, how do you feel about all these animated movies coming out in 3D rather than traditional 2D? I love both worlds. I love 3D CG animation and I love 2D. I wasn't too keen on it in the beginning when years ago, but as time went by and they developed, you know, they they perfected the craft. I just I just love 3D animation. I'm actually thinking about getting into it as well. Um, next question comes from Jamie Skywalker. May the force be with you, son. What is the most difficult body part to draw? Hands, hands down. <laughs> yeah. Next one. Normisuomisusi? Did I pronounce your name? I'm gonna be killing some names here, man. Is there anything you dislike or hate in art? Yes, I hate cubism. I can't stand cubism. I, can't, I don't like it. Never did, never will. I never got it in school. I don't understand why everyone's so fixated about cubism. It just looks like five year old paintings to me. I don't get why Picasso was so cool about cubism yeah sorry if, I, sorry if i broke too many hearts out there i know there's a huge fan base of cubism but i just don't like it it's weird anyways next question goes to molly are you self-taught or did you get artistic education i have artistic education but i am self-taught i believe every artist is self-taught no matter how much education you have you need to get self-taught because there's so much that they that you cannot learn in education. school because it's not enough, it's not, it's difficult because education is great to get your foundation down, get all the basics down. Uh, but from there onwards, you gotta get out by yourself. You gotta study, you gotta practice and learn techniques by yourself. It's the only way to improve. But yeah, education, is, it's a must, you do need it. Next one goes to Sam Jones. What's your favorite animation movie and why do you like it? Man, that's a difficult one. Um, I've just got too many. I, um, I love all the Disney movies, every single one. I don't have a favorite, but I like all the early ones as well, like Dumbo, Bambi, Sleeping Beauty. I also like Ariel the Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, The Aristocats. Hercules, Aladdin, but yeah, I like them all. I don't have a favorite, but if you ask me which is my favorite animated short, easy. The Ugly Duckling by Disney. This one here, boom. I love that one so much. I've watched it a million times. I really feel for that Ugly Duckling. All right, now, next question goes to, let's start, let's start the group questions. Andre and Johnny, will you do an animation course in the near future? How's it going with the animation courses? Yes, I am planning to do an awesome, animation course series, not one, series. And trust me, I'm gonna shock you. You're gonna love it. Right now though, I'm working on um, how to paint digitally. There's gonna be two courses coming out, one for beginners intermediate and one for intermediate advanced. And maybe might be a third one in the near future for like really super advanced level. All right, so let's go to the next one. All right, Redhead in Heels. Awesome, Render, thanks for doing it. We all know Cherry is your character that we all love, but if you had to pick one, another character, cartoon character as your favorite, who would it be? Poe. <laughs> Poe from Kung Fu Panda. I just love Poe. He's just this big ball of fun. I just love him so much. He, he you know, he blinded all the enemy with his awesomeness. <laughs> He's just wicked. I love him. And also Michelangelo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Nickelodeon version. Love him. All right, Sugar Sweet, Christine, Cat G, Airmen, Sh Shikara, and Flying Donut. What is Cherry's backstory? Where she come from? Likes, dislikes, family, etc. Where does Cherry live? What's her favorite hobby, pastime? Does Cherry have a love interest? <laughs> how did Cherry come to be? And um, how did sh how did you come up with Cherry? The idea of Cherry's character. Where did the idea of Cherry character come from? Right. First of all, let's get out of the way the love interest. There's nothing so far. All she loves doing is getting out in the outdoors being with her furry feather friends and animal friends and stuff and uh, being all quirky. That's all we have so far. I haven't really developed properly that 
personality yet. I don't know if she has a, what family she has and stuff like that. It's something I need to look into. But here's the story behind Cherry, the whole development. I've never actually said this live before. Years and years ago, 2003 I think it was, I developed this character which was a gypsy character that resembles Cherry today. Uh, she was this dark haired character and stuff, really sexy looking. And then in time, as I developed that character, she became these twins. Um, the one was similar to the one we know now, and the twin sister had this short hair. And the twin sister lived in another dimension. They never knew about each other. And then suddenly the cherry that we know discovers that she has a twin sister in another dimension and somehow finds her way to that other dimension where this whole adventure begins and trying to save her sister and stuff like that. This, that's what the whole thing was. It was a massive jam-packed adventure. Maybe one day I might show you some pictures about it. And then finally she got onto YouTube and became the character that you all know today. Right, next question goes to Mizayo, Elani and Brian. Bit odd, but I've always wondered how does your wife feel about you drawing pinup girls? Yes, I was wondering the same thing. Laugh out loud. I second that. I don't think my wife will be too keen on that. Fellas, guys, let me tell you something. There is no woman on this planet that can tell Paris Christou what to do. <laughs> Except for one person, and that's my mother. Respect your mothers, they gave birth to you. <laughs> Only joke. Right, on a serious note now. Now, my wife is really cool. She loves what I do. She's really proud of all my cartoons I create. She, she enjoys watching them. She even poses for me sometimes. She's really good at posing for my pinup characters. But um, yeah, I mean, seriously, guys, I'm just drawing cartoons, guys. It's only a cartoon. It's not real. It's not a real woman. I'm not I'm not like I've got a real woman right now and I'm like, you know, a baby locked them doors and turned them lights down low. I mean, that's a sexy ass tune, by the way. But no, nothing like that. It's a cartoon, guys. This goes out to all the dudes out there. If you have a girlfriend or a wife that's giving you all this jealousy, complex issues towards you drawing a cartoon, seriously, dudes, get out the house now. Run. Run for your lives, guys. There's something ain't right there. I'm just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> All right, anyways, but yeah, seriously, she's cool. Next one, Rundus, Despina, Jack, Neon X, and Antoine ask, do you draw traditional art like oil painting, etc., or mostly focus on digital? Despina asks, do you draw on a classic paper sketchbook or only with Sketchbook Pro? Greetings from Greece, what's up? Would you ever go to or revert back to traditional drawing? Can you make a video where you draw on real paper instead of Sketchbook Pro? Challenge! Do you think it's easier to draw traditionally or digital? And do you draw traditional? Okay, first of all, I love drawing traditional. I've got loads and tons of sketch pads filled up with traditional sketches. Guys, go check out my Instagram account. It's in the description. Go and check out the link there. I'm very active on that account. There's loads of um, traditional sketches that I post on there. And plus, never seen before pictures too. Go check them out. I love drawing traditionally. Oil painting, I love it. I just don't do it. I would love to, but I just don't at the moment. And also, as for the challenge, if I can work out how to fix a camera above a sketch pad without falling on me, and if I can be comfortable with the angle so it's not in my way or something, I would do it, but I need to work out how to set it up. Next one, Cartoon Coyote and Michelle. If someone pointed a high-powered Nerf water gun to your face and threatened to shoot you unless you named your bear and rabbit characters within the next 10 seconds, what would they be? Beer buns. <laughs> I get it? Take the word bear, change the A to an E, you got beer, and then buns comes from bunny. <laughs> what do you guys think? You like it? Nah? Alright. I don't really know what I'm gonna name them. Yeah. Michelle, will you be giving names to your little bear and bunny characters in the near future? Well, I kinda just did. No, I don't know. Honestly, I, I don't really have a clue what I'm gonna name them. Um, when I'm ready, I might work it out with you guys, see what you guys come up with. Alright, next group, Serena and Steven. What is Cherry's future? Will you ever show her animated again? Hey Paris, hope you're doing well. What about taking Cherry to the screen? Did you figure it out or still getting into it? Right, greetings from Colombia. Um, I guess what you guys are trying to say is Cherry ever going to be animated? Now, that's my major goal is to get Cherry animated. Now, if I don't ever find a way to do it or, you know, manage to get her animated, then I will go a different direction and maybe go towards stories like um, graphic novels and fun little stories of Cherry. So we shall see. Jolene eats turkey and Kirsty asks, <laughs> how long did it take you to find your own style and how do you keep the style and true to it? I have a lot of trouble keeping all my artwork uh, cohesive and looking like the same person drew it. Thanks. How did you develop your own style? Right. Style is a word or a term that we find easy to label artists and their artwork. 
Now, the real word that I think you're trying to say is trademark. You know, when you see a Paris Christou artwork, you just know it's mine, yeah? Because it's, it's just a trademark that I've developed. When you see a Disney animated cartoon, you don't need someone to tell you that's Disney's. It's, it's just a trademark that belongs to them that you just know by looking at it, right? So that's what you're trying to say. If you see a piece of crap that looks like Picasso's work, <laughs> I'm only joking, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just had to throw that one, honestly. Uh, but take, for example, J. Scott Campbell. I can see a bunch of those pictures of his, and I don't need no one to tell me that's his. I will know immediately by just looking at the way it's drawn that that's a J. Scott Campbell trademark. To get that trademark, guys, it takes years. It doesn't happen overnight. Um, what I did was I studied all my favorite artists and animators. Anyone who inspired me, I studied them hard, all right? I would learn all the techniques, all the little details that they put in their artwork, try to copy them, and I was just filling my brain with all this information. And when it came down to me now to start drawing my own little characters and worlds, gathering up all that information, I started seeing like me doing stuff subconsciously. And slowly through practice, you can start developing your own little trademark. It takes years though, guys. Thousands and thousands of hours. So be patient. Just study your own favorite artists. Next one. Awkward King and only name me Mr. Blank. Do you have any tips for anyone who just started creating digital art? Hey Paris, I'm trying to draw with a Wacom interest and it's pretty challenging since I have to look at the screen whilst drawing. I get you guys. I've been there. I know it's a little learning curve in the beginning. You just purchased your own little plastic tablet and you're drawing on it. Right? Now, imagine... This is why I say to all my friends. Imagine playing on a PC a game. I like playing FPS games first person shoot them up games so my right hand is on the mouse my left hand is on the keyboard and I'm looking at the monitor and at first collaborating all three elements together is hard and after a few games in I start getting more comfortable you know using the mouse keyboard and looking at the monitor many games later I get good at the game all right so it's the same thing you've got to learn to teach your hand and your eyes to work together now what I did was I used to draw over and over again basic shapes circles squares triangles over and over and over until I got comfortable and then what I did was I used to pick little simple characters and I'll try to trace them to get comfortable get trying to be accurate and then slowly through time it took me about three months and then I got comfortable uh, now I'm so comfortable with it with a tablet that I feel like it's easier than drawing with a traditional pencil and paper all right so it does take time be patient practice 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 drawing QC and geo double JX why use sketchbook pro why do you use Autodesk over Photoshop is it better right um, the reason I use sketchbook pro number one it's affordable number two it's just a user-friendly software very user-friendly easy everything's in front of me any tools I need it's fast quick that's it. I can get the same results though with any software. It doesn't matter what software you use, guys. Software are just tools. That's all it is. It's just a name. Just a tool. That's it. The main thing is your skills. Build your skills. Don't worry about the software. But if you're asking me why am I using Sketchbook Pro, it's just because it's just user-friendly and it's fun and easy. And um, yeah, that's why I love it. Um, but Photoshop is awesome. Last ones is Rachel, Carla, and Mapahasta El Basa. I ain't gonna pronounce that one, man. I'm gonna call you Mapa. What's your favorite drawing that you've done? What is your favorite cherry pinup that you've done? And hi, I would be very happy knowing about your first MPIIPN moment, aka mind picture is in paper now moment. Right. My favorite picture that I've done is this one right here. Boom. Cherry hanging off a tree in the mystic forest surrounded by all these magical characters, all these cool little fun animals. Now, the reason behind this one is re it represents me as a child. You know, Cherry's being all childish, hanging off a tree. And uh, that's what I was like when I was a kid. I used to hang off trees, playing the trees, have fun. I had all these animals in my garden. There was birds, there was robins, squirrels. I used to have cats and stuff. I used to love it. Bunny rabbits. Um, I, I, I just had all this little imaginary little world I used to play and that's what I tried to do that's what I had in my mind and that's what I created this mystical forest of cherry being childish with all those cool little creatures around her and that's it so guys thanks for watching this video let's wrap it up now and if I didn't say you answer your question don't worry just repeat it in the comment section below and tell your friends to give it a nice thumbs up Subscribe if you're new guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This was fun and I'm Paris Chris Du from ToonboxStudio.com and I'll see you on another video. Bye bye for now. Thank you for watching our latest video. Cherry invites you to subscribe to Toonbox Studio. Sexy, unique, original and oh so sweet. Where else can you find a pinup girl to blow your mind? Toonbox Studio, Toonbox Studio, oh, oh, Toonbox Studio.
subscribe, like and share and have a good time.